like old video games or anything by chance, are you? Guys, we came across a Super Nintendo Classic on OfferUp. We are about to go pick it up. We settled at $35. Now, it doesn't have the box, but that's fine. Currently, at the time of filming this video, they're worth anywhere from like $60 to like $80, maybe even $90 in the condition that it's in. So we're about to go pick that up, and it should be a pretty good deal. Stay tuned. We said 35 was good. Everything's in there. Everything's in there. You're not selling any other like old video games or anything by chance, are you? The only reason I'm even getting rid of this is I got two Ah, uh, okay. And uh, I just got a PlayStation 5 for gotcha. it. Gotcha. So I told them because I was spending this. Okay, guys, that was pretty successful. Here we got the Super Nintendo Classic. Yeah, I'd say in the box, but it's in a Nike box. So that doesn't count. Right there. Um, it does come with two controllers, which is awesome. The only thing that's missing is there's a black cube that this is uh, the USB is supposed to connect to. So I have one of those at the house. I'm just going to include that if I decide to sell this. Which I probably am because I already have one. So, anyways, guys, I thought this was a really cool pickup for 35 bucks. I asked the guy if he had any other games, and he's like, I have some, like an older Nintendo, but he's like, that's my childhood. I'm not getting rid of that. And I was like, bro, I understand. So. Anyways, guys, let's keep going. Oh, guys, today is crazy. So another deal is about to pop off. This is, once again, the PS4 for trade deal. Obviously, we just traded it. We don't have it anymore. But a bunch of people hit me up, and it turned into them having things to sell me. Like, oh, well, I have all these games. And then I would be like, well, I might be interested in buying them off of you still. So this has ended up being really amazing. But anyways, this person has a bunch of like PS1 and PS2 games. They also said they found some controllers. We gave them a very like kind of because they said they also mentioned the games might not work and stuff like that. So this would be kind of a hit or miss deal. Um, but they said they were cool with 20 bucks. So 20 bucks for like a bunch of PS1, PS2 games. And I don't know exactly how many controllers. I think a f they said a few. I can't remember, but... Anyways, guys, we're about to go pick that stuff up. Here's the footage for that. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Sorry. Oh, you said okay. 20 bucks. Everything was cool. Yeah, no, go. that's fine. Awesome. Thank you well, so they much. Could, they're kind of, there's a couple of sticky controllers. I think the soda mud okay. on the box. I don't know. Okay. I'll have a look through everything. I like to take apart a lot of the stuff anyway, so. <laughs> Kind of sticky or whatever. I, it might not. Be, I don't know what it is. It was just okay. In the box. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. I mostly wanted this for the games. The controllers are just a bonus for me. So. Oh. Well, cool. I put an extra one. Yeah. In there. If you come across any older games like Nintendo, Sega, just like send me a message. I'll probably buy it off of you. So. I, I have Nintendo Wii games at all. Ah, I might be interested in that stuff. Do you have? Can you just take pictures of it when you get home? Yeah, I've got a bunch of the attachments. Okay, yeah. If, if you guys are looking to get rid of it, just send me some photos. Maybe we can work out another deal. Okay. So, cool. I appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, guys. Really, really hard to tell right now, but a bunch of controllers. They look like they're pretty decent for the most part. And then this binder full of games. We spent $20 on everything. Let's see how we did. Okay, guys. That is now my second deal because of that freaking PS4. And I don't know if you guys could hear or not. She said she had Wii games. I freaking love getting Nintendo Wii games, so I'm not gonna complain if we get some more games out of this, but we'll see. Um, also, shout outs to Chase After the Right Price. They've been taking like Nintendo Switches and things like that, posting them on Facebook Market, and then they've been trading for like older retro stuff. So honestly, like they gave me the idea for this, so I have to give credit where credit is due. Shout outs to Chase After the Right Price. Go check out their channel if you haven't. They do a lot of awesome stuff, and they've personally taught me a lot about gaming, like reselling, stuff like that. So anyways, guys, about to go back to the house, check out all this stuff, and throw it into price charting. See how we did. Let's go. Whew. Back to the house. We're going to go over that entire bag that we just picked up. Hopefully, there's some good stuff in there that we don't know about. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, I went ahead and started pulling controllers out, and this lady had a lot more controllers than I thought. I honestly expected there to be, like, 
two or three, but no, look at this. We got these, which are freaking sick. I'm pretty sure I already own one of these, but assuming all this stuff works, these will be really, really cool just to have. Um, this is really sick too, this silver one. We got this black one over here, which is cool. And then these are third party. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> Never mind. I, what? Analog Force 2 controller. I've never seen these. They look like third party controllers. Um, this is really sticky. I'm not touching that one, but I guess they're Sony. I've never seen these. So, more PlayStation controllers. Okay, but these I thought were the bonuses. Look, these are DualShock 3s. So, these are thrown in. You know, even if some of the stuff is just for parts, like this one clearly has been chewed up a bunch. Guys, we spent $20 <laughs> on all of this. And once again, this came from me trying to trade a PS4, you know, and them him hitting me up and being like, hey, well, I got some games for sale if you're interested in buying. So even if you don't end up trading the actual item you're trying to trade, Stuff like this might happen to you. So it's definitely a good idea to post a trade type of situation anyways. Anyways, guys, this was really what I was after. There's a few games in here that, you know, I knew were going to be decent enough to at least recoup my money and then add some new stuff to the collection. This honestly is like a giant bonus. So we're going to go and dive into this. Um, put the camera down. No, I don't have to. There we go. And God, this is getting out of hand. I'm about to start selling controllers for a buck like i do not need all this stuff it's insane we're gonna just kind of go in little by little i guess and kind of look at everything off-road fury kingdom hearts there that's cool cloudy with a chance of meatballs i actually played this game on the wii and it was a lot of fun if you're looking for like a super like no-brainer relaxing type of game definitely play that game super fun we got Ty 2, that's awesome. Ooh, we got Shadow the Hedgehog, a couple games. We got Sonic Heroes. And I'm sorry guys, these are all like upside down and stuff, but you guys are seeing this in real time with me. So if I get excited about something, then you guys hopefully are getting excited about it too. We'll see. Uh, Tom and Jerry, War of the Whiskers. I've never even heard of that game. That sounds like it'd be pretty fun. We got Gran Turismo, Up, Sonic Collection, Madagascar, Ben 10. We got PS1 game there. That's cool. Power Rangers. Oh, classic Shark Tale. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Curious George. I was about to start just turning these because, like, the OCD inside of me is like, I ain't gonna turn it. But it's like, I'm not about to go do that with all of these. So that'll be when I turn the camera off. <laughs> We got Scooby-Doo Unmasked. We got Crash Bandicoot. That's what's up. Uh, a couple other games. Prince of Persia. PC game. <laughs> Anyways. Let's see what we got here. Hummer. I don't care about... There's definitely going to be a lot of like whatever type of titles in here. But definitely like some really cool ones and random ones. Like Ultimate Alliance. That's what's up. What are these? Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know this was a thing. Game Shark 2. I know that certain Game Sharks right now have like crazy value. I really doubt it's going to be like a PlayStation 2 disc. But honestly, at this point, I'd bet money that, you know, there could be some value in this too. So we'll have to look all this stuff up, but kind of cool. And that's okay. There we go. Guys, there's just so much to go through. We're just going to kind of move it along because this is dragging out a little bit. But, uh-oh, these fell out. Meet the Robinsons. Terminator Salvation. Oh, cool. We got Sly 3. Ooh, I don't know what's happening here. That ain't good. Oh, of course, it's with some of the better games, too. We got Crash Warped, Harry Potter... Oh, Ape Escape 3. Dang, I need the case and manual. Like, I want to add some of these to the collection, but it sucks adding loose games to the collection. I, like, I can't do it. Like, part of me is like, no. Rampage, Total Destruction. That's pretty cool. Oh, Crash 2. We got all three. So, 
honestly, like, we could sell off one of these crash games and basically cover the cost of everything, which is absolutely insane. The crazy part about game collecting, y'all, is just that right there. Got another crash game. Jimmy Neutron, Star Wars, Ninja Turtles. Guys, it just keeps going. It's just endless. Look at this. This is insane. Oh, my God. I do not want to throw all this stuff into price charting. Like, no, this is going to take way, way too long. <laughs> you guys just total up what y'all think this stuff is worth. <sighs> all right, I'll probably do it anyways. Jesus. Attack and the power. I want to play that game. I haven't played that game yet. Goosebumps, Aerosmith. Okay, guys. That's... <laughs> That's it for all that. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff into price charting, and then we're going to add up the total potential value and see how we did. 20 bucks. Put your guess down right now. How much How much do you think all this stuff is worth? I'm going to assume maybe like 200 bucks. I'm not even kidding. Like $200 worth of stuff right here. Like this is insane. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, real quick. This is the total potential value right now for just the controllers. And keep in mind, that does not include these right here because I'll have to look these up separately on eBay. Also, they're really beat up. So, I mean, honestly, even if this was some super rare controller, like, probably not going to be worth too, too much. Like, they're really nasty. Like, I don't know. So, these two right here, we're going to kind of put off to the side we're not worried about those but guys 87 dollars already for something we spent 20 bucks on amazing now i'm gonna take the time put all the games in and see how we do on those okay guys i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i did not put every single game into price charting i picked out the first few that i knew would be worth a little bit more than some of the others and we're already looking at 91 dollars and 62 cents also, I looked up one of those GameShark 2 discs, and apparently there is quite a bit of value with that. I don't know how accurate that is. I'll have to double check on eBay. But that, Crash, and I mean, honestly, the rest of these add up pretty nicely. So $91.62 for the first one. Let's check out the next one. Okay, guys, here's the second screen of the more notable games. Ape Escape 3 is currently valued at $27. No freaking way. I had no idea, honestly. So once again don't take these values to heart you know that price is probably going to go up and down i'll definitely check ebay as well and guys just so y'all know there's a lot of games in here i didn't even list because i just there's just too much like i'm gonna have to do this later on we've got like nick tunes racing burnout three sonic riders like there's definitely like another three to four dollars per game of value and we only we only checked about 20 of them so obviously we're gonna check the rest of these but y'all this just it's a lot so <laughs> bear with me just bear with me <sighs> okay guys i need to find a new method for checking out values because putting like 10 at a time in price charting is not gonna cut it for me so hopefully you guys aren't disappointed that i did not just take another five hours <laughs> to put everything in there y'all know this is very time consuming so Mm, we're gonna save some of that for another day a lot of these games honestly i'm gonna end up trading in i think whenever you only spend like a few dollars on something like i could literally sell off a bunch of these games for like a buck a piece and i would be fine with that like i don't really care to like oh i gotta make ten dollars off each game like no there's just so much to go through i don't have the time so <laughs> we're just gonna keep going but anyways guys i appreciate all of y'all um, if y'all liked today's episode, make sure to hit the like button, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and guys until next time, peace.